You like that, don't you? Like that 4K. All right, everybody. Welcome to 48 Hours with the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti, their brand new flagship card to hit the market. Now, this card is not geared at all for the person who's meek of wallet or meek of gaming. This is an all-around super-duper card that offers incredible performance and some new features unseen before on an NVIDIA card. Now, obviously, this card's still based on the 20 nanometer process. It's Maxwell-based, and it has a lot of things going for it that you folks are going to like out there. Now, now, right now, like I said, I've got the card running in a system. Got it back here behind me. And in fact, the entire time that we're doing the video, the card will be running in the background. So you guys can see how actually quiet the card is in full gaming mode. So with that said, let's jump in. Let's check out the card itself, the features, the performance, and why at the end of the day, the GTX 98 Ti is worth your money. Starting out visually, you guys can see this card looks like any other standard edition reference card that comes out from the folks at NVIDIA. They've been using this same signature series for quite a while now. Single fan, nice titanium looking outside. You can clearly see the 980 Ti nomenclature on the card. Now, as you guys can see, as we spin the card around, this card is a little bit different than the previous card, as this card requires a single 8-pin and a single 6-pin connector. The 980 Ti has a TDP of 250 watts and the recommended power supply is 600 watts. The GeForce GTX 980 Ti ships with 2816 CUDA cores and 22 SM units. The memory subsystem of the GTX 980 Ti consists of six 64-bit memory controllers equaling a total of a 384-bit memory interface. The card also ships with 6 GB of GDDR5 memory. The 980 Ti has a base clock of 1000 MHz and a boost clock of 1075. Now, the boost is entirely dependent on how cool the card runs, meaning that aftermarket cards with better cooling will definitely be able to overclock better than this card. As far as the overclocking goes, we're not going to get to that in this video. Everything that we're doing in this video is basically on the stock clocks. And like I said, there are some new features that NVIDIA brings to the table, and let's talk a little bit about those. First up are volume tiled resources and sparse fluid simulation. Many visual effects using games are volumetric in nature. Fluids, clouds, smoke, fire, and fog are common examples. Rendering complex scenes that combine these elements together allows the GPU to use its memory more efficiently, in turn allowing developers to integrate more intricate effects into their games including smoke that's generated using Sparks Fluid Simulations. Next up is something that's definitely needed in DirectX 12, and that's Conservative Raster. Conservative Raster is one of the key requirements needed for DirectX 12 Feature Level 12.1. Conservative raster provides a more accurate method for determining whether or not a pixel is covered at the cost of being more expressive in terms of performance. In traditional rasteration, a triangle is considered covered if a pixel covers a specific sample point within that pixel. With conservative rasteration rules, on the other hand, a pixel is considered covered if any part of the pixel is covered by any part of the triangle. By providing hardware acceleration for conservative raster, the GPU can perform these calculations more efficiently. This in turn enables game developers to employ novel new approaches to enhance image quality. And last up is ray trace shadows. In the image, you can see the difference between a ray trace shadow and a regular shadow map. This also works in conjunction with the conservative raster feature. All right, so we've seen what the card looks like. We've seen the speeds and feeds. We know all that good stuff. Now, one thing I gotta say before we jump into the testing, this card does have a 98 Celsius threshold, which means that overclocking is gonna be pretty good in this card. The card's gotta be really, really, really hot before it starts failing, and that's great for gaming. So with that said, let's check out gaming performance in both 1080p and 4K, and rock out to the benchmark zone.
folks who like live gameplay, let's check out a couple of games in 4K glory. First off, The Witcher 3, a game that everybody's been loving. And in fact, it's really cool and it looks awesome as well. Let's go right now and let's check out the settings. As you guys can see, I set everything as high as it can go in 4K. And now let's check out that gameplay. Now let's check out GTA 5, another really fun game that's awesome to play and looks awesome in 4K. Folks, so there you have it. The new NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti in action. You guys can see it's one smoking gun. Unlike when the 980 was released, this card actually does show true performance differences. When the 980 first came out, the difference between the 780 Ti and it weren't very much at all. Now, it actually did everything a lot more efficient, but as far as sheer performance goes, it was not as much as we thought. But the TI is incredible. As you guys can see, in 1080p performance, 20 frames per second over the 980 in most cases. That is very substantial. And in 4K, 10 frames per second. Awesome stuff. Plus, you guys saw a lot of the gameplay we did in 4K. It just looks beautiful. And in fact, the entire time that we've been filming, I've had the 980 running in the background. So as far as how loud the card goes, well, as far as how loud the card is actually, you guys can see it's not really that loud. I've got running the test station. Game is running here back behind me. Got GTA 5 going now. So all in all, this card is a severe winner. NVIDIA has hit the table with something that people are really going to like. Now, all these cards will be coming out with different models other than the reference. On launch day, you always see the reference cards. Is that what we got? That's what we got. <laughs> Having trouble in speech impediments here today. But that is what we have, the reference card. There'll be many others coming out with aftermarket cooling, all that stuff. And we're going to see even better performance from those. As it is right now, the reference GTX 980 from NVIDIA is one incredible card. Great new features, great performance. It doesn't get very loud, stays pretty cool. All in all, a winner for the gamers out there. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. All the information for this car will be down below that like button. Hopefully you guys like this type of video. If not, hey, I'm sorry. But if you guys do like what you see, make sure you hit that sub button and we'll see you in your inbox.